Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Chrome on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS, a third party app store. So, a little bit about this series from going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, Go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So today we'll be installing Chrome. This makes it to where you can uh, start up a Google Chrome inside of your COS OS using Docker containers. So, uh, so this is a uh, Chasm a web. Uh, Chasm Workspaces is a Docker container streaming platform for delivering browser-based access to desktops, applications, and web services. Um, this is the standalone version, so it's not the full Chasm. And this is what it looks like. And the launch URL, app args, and Ch Chasm restricted file chooser are the environment variables. So we're going to get to installing this. So now we're going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And this is a third-party app store that's made for Cost OS that is maintained by Big Bear Tech Pro and the Big Bear community. Um, there's quite a few apps nowadays in it. And I did make a video on how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS, but I'm going to be going over in this video as well. The custom app store is only supported in uh, Cost OS version 0.4.4 .4 or newer. So I'm going to scroll up to App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my Cost OS and get it set up. So now I'm going to start on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store. And then I'm going to go to More Apps over here. Text to Input pops out. I'm going to paste in the URL that we copied over in Big Bear Cost OS. I'm going to press Add. Now we have 168 apps available. So if you want to see it over in the categories over here, you'll have to refresh the page. Go back into the App Store. Go to Big Bear Cost OS now, and now you see all the apps that are available from Big Bear Cost OS. So, we got the app store installed. So, I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over to the search and type Chrome, and then now I'm going to go in the folder. So, it's Big Bear Cost OS apps and then Chrome. I'm going to go in the Docker and Pose. So, the Cost OS app name is going to be called Big Bear Chrome. And then I'm going to set services, and the first service underneath services is called Chrome. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Chrome. This is so that uh, Docker doesn't have to set a random name. Um, the image is coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no URL before this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag right here and then the ports are 6902 this is on the host if this does collide with another port on your host you can change it and then on the container 6901 um do not change the containers port and now i'm going to set environment variables so the vnc password is casa os and we'll need that to sign into the ui uh the the launch URL, the first app, uh, the, the first tab that's open is going to be community.bigbertechworld.com, and then the um, the, the shared uh, memory allocated size is 512 megabytes, and then now I'm going to set some X Y Z information to explain the environment variables, and then I'm going to set X Y Z information to explain the app store. So the architecture that the Docker image up here supports is ARM is AMD 64 and ARM 64. The main is set to the service name up here of Chrome. And then a description, the tagline, the developer of the Docker image, and then the author of the Docker and pose, the icon being used for the app store, and a thumbnail, the, the title, the category, so everybody can figure out what's coming from actual Big Bear Cost OS. And then the port map is 6902. And this runs with the host port up here of 6902. So the scheme is set to HTTPS because it will be using self signed certificate. And then a tips. So before the install, it's going to say the username of what you need to use. So, so you need to use this username and this password right here to sign into the UI. So that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. 
uh, uh, you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to start on my Cos OS. I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to type in Chrome. So, now you, you see it's coming from Big Bear Cos OS because of this category down here. So, I'm going to go click it. I'm going to install. And then now it's coming up with the tips on showing the username that you log in with. So, you're going to use that so i'm going to say next steps what this is doing is it's downloading the docker image off the registry getting extracted and getting it up with docker pose underneath because this does use the docker engine to run so this can take a little bit to install so now we got it up and running and it's uh, set up so now i'm going to go over the uh, app settings so if you go up to these uh this right vertical dots right here you can open in the web UI, you can set some tips, and a tip has already been set right here. Um, so you can come down here, it's kind of like a notepad, then you can press save, it reloads the container in the background, and then says it's okay. And you, now, you can now go back into tips, and you can see it did save. You can go into settings right here, and you can uh, cha uh, change things, and then press the save button. You can also go in the terminal in your container, and you can also see the logs right here, great for debugging. You can export the Docker and pose right here. So you can check for updates. You can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So that's the app settings. So now I'm gonna go in the UI. So you can open it from here, or you can go over here and open it. So you'll need to go advanced and proceed. Now you can put a username in, so chasm underscore user, and then the password is Casa OS. Now sign in. So now you can see that we have a starting tab of big, uh, the Big Bear community, community.bigbeartechworld.com. You can also go up here and um, you can start a, a new tab, and then you can go to Google. There you go. You can also go over here to the settings and you dra drag viewport, keys, clipboard, full screen, game cursor mode, and then the settings, and then keyboard shortcut, stream quality, and then advanced. You can also um, just di disconnect completely from the VNC, and then you can connect right back up to it. So that's a little bit, a bit about how to get to Chrome working on COS OS. So I just went over step by step on getting Chrome working on Cos OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.